Hi, I'm Emily and I'm schizophrenic. In this video I'm going to be talking about um, my time in the ward. And I've got a lot to talk about this so I guess it's going to be quite a long video, I guess. Um, so... So, so, so. Sorry if the camera keeps wobbling by the way, it's balancing on my computer. Stack of books. Not a good idea. So, on my first admission to hospital, actually, prior to that, um, I was admitted to hospital because I had, a very, I had a very bad time, had a psychotic episode, and I believed that I wanted to commit suicide by taking paracetamol which I did because the voices they were telling me to do it and I believed them, I believed anything they did at that time um, so that ended me up in hospital which I, which I got ass assessed and then um, I was in the mental health unit so for the first week I wasn't on medication which wasn't good at all I was on olanzapine back then like I can't remember how much it was but I was on olanzapine um, and so that really messed with me. I wasn't on any medication because they just couldn't find out. They didn't believe me, basically. I said I was on lanzapine, they didn't believe me at all. So, um, they didn't, they didn't give me anything first week. Um, in that, in the first week, it was so chaotic. Oh, in the first two weeks. Um, Basically, I was writing things on walls with chalk or in pencils, just completely defacing walls. Um, I was self-harming with the pencils because because um, the voice told me to do that. Um, I was ripping up books from the bookshelf and throwing them at people, uh, mainly staff, not any of the patients. And um, I was throwing them at like what I thought was a masked man, but turns out he's not actually there. So yeah, um, this so this whole quiet room had what well, this quiet room because when I was in there it wasn't a quiet room. Um, it was completely written on the walls. Everything was written on all of the walls. Um, there was writing on the floor as well, on the carpet, and there was books out the door, like just piled up, ripped up, and pages, there's pages on the floor, <laughs> pardon me again, I'm sorry, in the quiet room, and um, they were, I, I had arranged them. So then the words would meet up and then circle words, so it made a sentence. Um, sorry. Um, I put. I managed to get hold of paint, and I barricaded myself in this quiet room by squirting paint on the floor, at the entrance, closing the door, then blocking it with the sofa that was in there. The sofa was the only thing that was in there, so. I blocked the door with the sofa, but they managed to push it because it's a really light sofa. Mm. And then I got sedated. Um, for the first time. This is my first mental health um, ward experience, by the way. Uh, I, I'm going to tell my second one in this video as well. So, so I don't forget anything. Because I've got it all written on... Um, Written on the note. Um, what is else? Oh, when you get sedated, I think you get given the razzapan, but it's just in liquid form, and you get that sedated up, not up your butt, but like, like, like here, <laughs> and it really does hurt. <laughs> I would never wish it again um there i saw rats on the walls 
um, at this time. So there's Gabriel, Mitch, and Cosmo, the cat. Um, oh, I'm gonna start this lighting really fast. I'm, I'm sorry, I can't edit this by the way. I don't know how to edit it. I'll turn this light on, maybe. Wrong switch. There we go. Yeah, it's a bit brighter now. Um, okay. So. There were rats in the walls, Gabriel and Mitch and Cosmo, that's Gabriel is the angel, Cosmo is the cat and Mitch is a raccoon. Um, so I saw them um, at the time I was there. Um, and I'd also see a masked man which was very new to me. Um, it was a man in a mask, in like a white mask and he's got red writing on it everywhere. And he'd just stand there and, and say horrible stuff. Pardon me again. Um, my weird hiccup things. They're not there. Um, sorry if you can see that my eye is red. I don't know why it's red. The other one is too. It was red yesterday. I don't know. I've got drops for them. But it's not seeming to help at the minute. Oh, I keep getting distracted. Okay. Um, I used to throw my hands up in the air like this and say like, um, I used to say things when I used to throw my hands up. I'm not sure what I used to say because I can't remember at all. Sometimes I can't remember things. Um, and that's that's fine. Because everybody forgets things. Um, um, I'd go into the shower. There was times where I'd go into the shower like fully clothed. I'd turn the shower on and I'd say like, I'm washing off my lies. And then I'd like, go out there and I'd wash myself. Not with a soap or anything or with a sponge. Just stand in the water. And say, I need to wash off the lies. I need to wash off the lies. Because of this incident that happened before I got into hospital about somebody lying about something very close to me, and I just I'd hate people who lie about things like that. I'm not going to mention who she is or what she said, but oh well. Um, and I'm friends with her now, and I hope that we can become more friends and go back to how we were before. Um, I would go into the, da, dining room, living area, this place is all the sofas and stuff, um, and the TV, and I'd go in and I'd be fine watching the TV. And then the news would go on and the news would talk to me. It was horrible. They'd they'd say, Oh, this morning she's eating breakfast. But now she's gonna commit suicide. Just wait and watch. Um and that wasn't very good at all. And uh I trust I tr I got locked in a dorm. In a dorm room because there's there's about um how many people four, four people to a dorm. Um, so, sorry, excuse me, um, I got locked in a dorm, um, I got cold as well, <laughs> I was out in the rain yesterday, a bit silly but I love the rain so much, um, yeah, I got locked in a dorm, um, and then I trashed that dorm and read somebody's diary, who I knew kept a diary and kept where it was because she trusted me. But I can't remember what was in that diary at all <laughs> because I was in a psychotic episode. I can't remember what happened in that one. And because sometimes I can't remember what happens in my psychotic episodes. I couldn't remember. <clears throat> <clears throat> so that was. <laughs> we laughed about it afterwards because I couldn't remember. She was like, oh, thank God. So. 
There was a part where I thought the staffs were calling me a liar as I'd go past. As I'd, um, as I'd go past. I'm always going to creep it out. Um, yeah, I thought the staff were calling me liars. Which I actually still do think that they did call me a liar because... Um, one of the staff used to be really aggressive but he's okay now um and basically he, he, um, he said why are you doing this and then I, I said because i hear voices and the voice is telling me to do it and he called he said well you're lying and i got so mad at that because i have a really big problem with the word liar i hate being called a liar because for the first for the first um, years, I I told people that I heard voices and saw things. My mother and my brothers and everyone didn't believe me. They just called me a liar. So, got that going for me. They believe me now, though, which is good. Um, mm, so this is one lie that the staff that called me a liar got so mad at him. I uh, spat in his face and then he pinned me against the wall and he started shouting at me. The other one ripped my necklace off. So that was broken and I managed to fix it now but I was really upset because it was my lucky thing and it made me really happy. Actually I'll go get that and show you it really fast. It's a bear. Oh, where is it? I can't see the camera. It's a bear. And it's just a little... I don't know, I've had it since I was a little kid. I just always have it with me. And it, it's kind of lucky and it makes me feel happy. And they they, they ripped it, basically. They, that bit there. And that bit there. So... Yeah, anyway, it's okay now. I could put it on a chain, but I can't find a chain. Um, there was also another incident where another staff called me a liar. Um, it was a female staff this time. Um, pardon me, my hiccups are getting worse. Um, and she said, she said, I said, why are you um, being so horrible to me? And she said, it's because you're a liar. And I got so mad at her, I ran up to her, and uh, they were, uh, blah, blah, blah. the staff was restraining me back. And I managed to spit in her face again. Well, not again. I managed to spit in her face, and she was quite far away. And, oh, I feel so bad about it, but, you know, I don't like people calling me liars. Really, really, really makes me angry. Um, oh, somebody asked me a question about what the other people were diagnosed on, on my ward. So it's quite a mixed ward. Some people had depression and suicidal intentions. Some of them um, had bipolar. Um, there was a girl who had um, bipolar and diabetes type, I don't know. Um, but she was quite moody. I'm sorry if you're watching this. I, I sound really horrible, but you kind of were. Um, it's probably not her fault, though. It's probably her diabetes, like, low blood sugar and that. So it's not her fault. Um, what does, what does? Oh yeah, I thought that there was a man. Oh no, this was on my second time, I think. This is on my second time. I can't really remember much from the first time. I did write a big, um, a big paragraph and I posted it onto DeviantArt. Um, but then I deleted it because I didn't want 
I didn't want my family to see it at that time. Um, um, what else? Oh, there was one point where um, I burst into somebody's meeting and um, and I grabbed like a pencil pot or something. So I'm sorry, I'm just going to take this and run out the door and then throw in the person, like a staff member. I think it's the same one that called me a liar. So, um, still kind of, yeah, I'm alright with her now because the second time I went, I made up with her. So I'm sorry and stuff. Um, and the man. Um, for my second time around, I was admitted because of. I was just. It's so. Blah, 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 blah. I was so mentally unwell that I couldn't function properly and all I could do was think about harming others and I was harming myself more than anything and I thought that a man was trying to kill me so I don't know I don't know who it was it could be anyone it could be my family and I thought that that person was going to definitely come and kill me I don't think that now but I definitely definitely thought it and I was so convinced I was scared I would, everyone who had walked past would have to look at them to see if they're coming my way with a knife or something um, so that's why I got admitted the second time oh the first time I was there for two months the second time I was there for just over two months like two or three days over two months um, uh, I got a card from the first time here's what it looks like from my art teachers because there's a school there and it was a really nice school because I did art at the time I was in college um, it says Emily keep up with your amazing artwork and take good care of yourself that was from Emma Emily take all the best take care and keep up with your art Emily it's been great to getting to know you take care and good God bless you. Emily, it's been a pleasure working with you. Take care and keep smiling. I'm really happy about that. It keeps me going. See, because I do artwork. I did I did this um this lion. Um and I'm currently working on a fox, I'll show you that. I'm currently working on this fox. So I have a lot of artwork on my Instagram. And I put my Instagram in the links down below if you want to check that out. Um, what tells? Um, uh, in my second ward, second well, it was the same ward, but it was my second visit to that ward. I um. So I was convinced somebody was trying to kill me. I saw a man out the window walking his dog. Like, everyone saw that man walking his dog. I was so convinced this man and his dog were trying to kill me. I was running around the room. I was like, let me out, let me out. Bang on the doors. Um, like, just, oh, um, oh, I've forgotten. The first time I was at the ward, I picked up a chair and I threw it at the door which I managed to escape from once. I didn't get very far, but I did escape from it. Um, oh, and I forgot another thing too. And I, I threw this chair at the door and it smashed the door. You couldn't get out because the gap was too small. But um, that happened anyway. And I'd punch the glass and get out the glass and my hands would be bloody. Um, uh, Oh, I was going to say another thing. Um, oh yeah. How I, the second time when I got admitted to the hospital, um, I, when I was in the hospital, I was pacing around, I was, my arms were going up like this all the time, 
I'd scream like fuck off, fuck you and I'd just like be doing that and be like fuck off and then <laughs> um, um, and there's no way out of this place because all the doors are locked you have to have a keypad so I'd wait at the door for one of the nurses to open the door from the other side and I'd try and escape there was only one time where I did escape from that ward was when I pressed the fire alarm so I pressed the fire alarm and then I was walking with a nurse saying oh it wasn't me, it wasn't me because it wasn't me it was like Gabriel that told me to do it but it was me, I have to take responsibility for that but it was Gabriel that told me to do it um, and I noticed the doors open because obviously I pressed the fire alarm and it clicked and I, I just ran out ran really fast, I got quite far and then the, these two men stopped me and they brought me back and I was not very happy about that I would just be talking to myself like um, going down at, down at the halls just talking to myself like flying my arms and just talking talking about whatever went across my mind um, what else um, no, hold on um, On my first mental, my second mental health ward, I went in, I was, I was carted in, I was like, not handcuffed, but I was restrained on this, this trolley and it had straps around it and I was on one of those and I could not get out of it. It's that like when I got in the ambulance I started to take it off and I started to sit up and be like, what's that out the window? What's that? What's that? And they just pushed me down and restrained me again. Um with these straps and when I got in I was crying because I didn't want to go back and they're like oh it's okay it's okay it'll be okay but I know it's not really going to be okay because you mean you're at a mental health hospital how okay can it get um, so when I was there I was rearranging the books I remember it was the first thing I did when I no I went to sleep straight away and when I got up I didn't eat anything for about the first three days because I thought all the food was poisoned and I was just rearranging the books constantly and I was um just screaming and hit kicking at the doors um and in the quiet room kicking at everything that was in there um and I'd get I'd go like this with my hand I'd go bang and I'd think that real bullets would come out the bottom of my hand so I was like pretending to shoot people I was like bang bang but obviously no, no bullets actually come out of your fingers so but at that time I really did believe that that could happen and I thought that I had like proper gun hand obviously not I was very deluded um, I thought that I looked through this crack of this door so this tiny crack and I'd, um, I'd see Gabriel, I'd never see him inside the ward, only through this tiny crack so I'd be like, Gabriel, Gabriel, help me, let me out, let me out and I'd be like, the, the 24 cat bus is coming to get me, you know, cat bus from Studio Ghibli or however you say it um, the 24 cat bus is coming to get me and take me to the moon and I was looking through this tiny gap, I was like, no, no, it's leaving, it's leaving Oh, I'll have to wait until the next one and I'd frantically like be pacing around my arms would be going up and I'd be like going oh go catch that bus go catch that bus when it was dinner time I'd, I'd um I'd be eating actually not that much but I would be eating I'd be like, oh I've got to get the cat bus I'd get up from the table and I'd storm to the um to the door and I'd be like the cat bus please let me out let me out the cat bus is leaving I want to go to the moon please um, obviously I can't go to the moon 
So that's. Um, I literally thought that bush was going to take me to the moon. Um, and then I saw faces in the floor. I just saw faces everywhere. Like everything would look like faces, um, which was kind of weird. Um, freaked me out a bit because I look in my coffee and I see a face. Well, not because we weren't allowed coffee there. It was decaf coffee. I look into my decaf coffee and I see a face in it going, hi Emily, how was your day? I'm like, ah, spill my coffee over. <laughs> Bit creepy, so yeah. Um, and, uh, I'm trying to remember. <laughs> I'm trying to remember everything for you guys, but I honestly, I have a long list of things, but I only, I only remember a few of the things, so. Um, Oh, we had a, um, this girl who was in there, if you're watching, hi, <laughs> um, I'm not going to mention names, but she was having a really bad episode of what I had, no, I don't know what she had, but she was having a really bad episode, she managed to get locked into uh, a dorm that I was in, I got escorted out, she managed to get locked in the dorm because she had ripped the polings down, the curtain railings down and there was, it's all magneted so she had this magnet pole and she was hitting at the glass and the glass eventually broke because she was throwing magnet at it and then she'd um, <laughs> sorry oh my god she would put her hands through, her hands were all bloody and she managed to get through but then the police came and they threatened to tease her and then she put her hands up, she didn't want to get tasered so, um, yeah um, so she stopped and she eventually calmed down um, she eventually became a really nice person well she was obviously a really nice person anyway but then I, I discovered she was as violent and she's quite like everyone who was there on my second um, Time at the ward was so nice, they were so nice people. Um, I made friends with this one guy who had the same music taste as me, so it was really cool because um, he would share his music and I'd, I'd like write on a piece of paper and give him music that he might like. Um, yeah. Um, I think that might be about it for this video because I can't really think of anything else to talk about obviously there was a lot a lot a lot of things that happened on that ward but I really can't remember so it's my bad next time I'll have to write a whole paragraph so I can read it out so just little notes but anyway thank you for watching um I don't know what my next video is going to be about but if you like what I'm doing here subscribe and if you like my art then um, click on the link below and look at my Instagram. Thanks, bye.